42 weeks. I know you've been kind of amped to get to this week, so let's get right into it. A little wrap on preseason first. Two positions that really got hit the most by graduation, offensive line, defensive backfield. Let's start on the line. You had lost maybe four starters or, or pretty consistent players. You've got a couple of sophomores right now uh, projected to start this weekend. How have you felt about the group, and how has it improved You know, over the preseason? Yeah, one of, the, one of the great things is they got to go every day against a really good defensive line. And we're going to see a outstanding D-line this week. Like we, we knew the returners they had at Lafayette and how strong they are, the effort they play. But the front seven at Lafayette is one of the best, if not the best, we'll see all year. And we got to see a really good one this year in camp. And in camp, we go ones on ones and twos on twos. And I really think that's helped speed up the development of some of those younger offensive linemen. They've been really coming along. They, they finished camp strong, and we're excited to see that. And, you know, we wish it was against a, a lesser <laughs> defensive front, but we'll know early on are they ready or not. You, you moved Darrow from kind of a swing tackle yeah. to your center position. You know, it's a new spot for him, but a veteran on the line, the guy making calls, does that kind of make you feel a little more comfortable about the group knowing that, that he's the one making those calls? Yeah, we started making that transition uh, last year. We felt good about some of our younger tackles. And we started making that transition because he's such a great communicator. And he really, nothing, he, nothing bothers him. He has no fear. He does all the things you want in the center and he's strong. And that, that really is going to help him because, uh, you know, we're facing some fronts. And, and as I said, right away, right out the chute, you know, guys that come off the ball and, you know, they, they didn't, Lafayette didn't give up a touchdown for six quarters, right. <laughs> almost seven quarters. So uh, on defense, they gave up one punt return. Offense, uh, defensive backfield for you. It, it's an interesting mix because on one hand, you're going to start four seniors, one of which is your most experienced player of all in Dorian Williams. On the other hand, you know, you had Gaffney and, and Hill starting for 30 games together. So now you've got a couple new starters in the corners and then and then Hoffman at the safety position. So overall, you know, did you like the way that that group was communicating and, and, and kind of coming together? Yeah, and they're all seniors. And, you know, Huffman played a lot last year, especially the second half of the year, and came up big and made plays. And, and James Gales and Marcus Fox, you know, we were in the middle of camp and they were playing very well. And both of them got a little nick here and there and ended up not earning the starting spot. Uh, but they were right there with them. And they've rolled in now for the past two years and have been really great contributors to the special teams. And from day one of spring football, they've been tremendous. Let's get to Saturday night, Lafayette. You kind of alluded to it a couple times here. Defensively, they basically pitched a shutout for six and a half, seven quarters. Then, you know, Delaware kind of got them fourth quarter last weekend. But... It's a group that front seven looks really tough, uh, especially as we've talked about your young offensive line. How, what are their strengths and, and what do they like to do defensively? Yeah, now they're, they're a, uh, and, and I wasn't knocking their back four, you know, specific to the offensive line because they are long. I mean, they are a big defensive mm -hmm. backfield. They're athletic, they play the ball, they tackle, they're physical. I, I mean, this is a defense that, I think from top to bottom is one of the best we'll see all year. And, you know, we're going to have to execute extremely well. We're going to have to make great decisions. And we're going to have to, when we run the football, fight for every inch. Like, you know, it's going to be a matter of getting into third and twos and not third and fives and fighting for those little inches there when we run the ball. And then when we throw it, make great decisions and really, uh, uh, you know, secure the ball and turn up the field and get north, south and get first downs. You have a starting quarterback returning that you like and, and, and Chad Kanoff and you like his accuracy. Lafayette has one too and Drew Reed, who completed about 65% last year, already over 60% this year. You know, he has clearly a, a favorite target, but, but still can spread the ball around. You know, how tough is it with a quarterback like that who has both experience and accuracy. Yeah, what you love as a coach is he gets rid of the ball. He gets rid of the ball quickly. He makes great decisions. You know, they put their games on TV and you're watching the game and every time there was a blitz, ball's out of his hand right to where it should go. And is, you know, a passing game type offense. And if you're an offensive lineman, you really enjoy that because he is difficult to uh, pressure and, and get into situations where it's disruptive because he does get rid of the ball and he puts it on time and accurately. 
you have a lot going on Saturday night. You have, you know, Orange Out, Night Game, Community and Staff Day, Uplifting Athletes, you know, Opening Day. How, what do you want to see in the first five minutes from your team that, that tells you that kind of everything else surrounding the game is not kind of overwhelming the task at hand, which is, you know, you got to play 60 tough minutes against a, an experienced Lafayette team that's already played two games. Yeah, all, all those things are great for the community and for the people on the stands. And we, we love support. Like, I, I, I love it if the, the crowd, and we got a big crowd in orange and excited and everything else. But, but as a football player and as a football coach, you're focused on the play at hand. And, you know, it's coming out with a lot of energy. But, but also understanding that you have to stay focused on the task at hand. And it can't be like that inverted you where you have so much energy mm -hmm. where you're not running the right routes or you're not blitzing the right gaps or you're not in the right alignments and you're jumping off sides or you're, you know, those type things. And we've stressed that since day one. Like I know our guys, they are so excited and so amped up to play this game. Like my pregame speech doesn't need to be Newt Rockney, give, you know, win one for the Gipper. This is one where I know they're ready and let's just go out and play ball.